Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hashraptor YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be doing some testing, actually this whole week. This is a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070, and if you saw our previous video that we did with the 3060 Ti, we did testing for one week to see how much crypto we could actually earn. And I kinda just did that testing on the side, honestly, because I was curious how it would pan out and I got a lot of good feedback from you guys. So while I'm doing some testing here with my 3000 series rig, I thought I would also do this with the 3070 at the same time. So we are gonna get this up and running. We're gonna leave it here running on the solo test mining rig that we have, and we're gonna let it mine for one week. Now I was gonna switch over to a different crypto for this segment, but because we did the 3060 Ti on Ethereum, these do mine very similarly, but a little bit of time has gone by, so I thought I would just go ahead and do a baseline with the 3070. And let's see how much we can actually make in one week on Ethereum. And then in future videos, we're gonna try some different cryptos. If you want me to try mining some other currencies, let me know what interests you most, and we'll try to go down the list and hit them all up and see how much we can actually make in a week. Now one reason I like doing this was because it wasn't theoretical, and I think that's probably why a lot of folks like watching it, it, was because it's not numbers just from what to mine. It was actual rubber meets the road, how much crypto did we earn after one week. So we will bounce that against what to mine to see how close that it is. We're gonna get this thing started right now. I'm gonna switch over to a desktop so you can see us launch the miner here. And fingers crossed we don't have any ISP outages this week. But uh, let's see how it does, guys. Let's switch over to the desktop. Here we go. All right, everyone, here we are at the desktop. And I just want to show you a few things before I switch this rig over to a new address here. So the GPU we're going to be testing is a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070. It has Samsung memory. This is the G6 memory. And you can see that this has been running for quite a while now. We are at 99.95% efficiency. So it's been really strong. And it looks like our miner uptime is about eight days. And before I begin this, I'm actually going to do an OS update just to clear everything out and make sure that I have the latest for the next week uh, so that I'm not tempted to do an upgrade or something like that. And hopefully, from a stats standpoint, we will have solid uptime from our ISP. So I am going to go ahead and do the update. I'm going to restart the rig and then we will drop in our new address. All right, so we are back up and running now. I just got the telegram message that the self upgrade was completed. And I'll just walk you through these messages real quick. You can see that we did the upgrade to the OS. You can see I changed the config and what I did is I just changed the address that we're mining to to the Coinbase Ethereum address with zero balance on it. So we're gonna get a fresh start there. And I rebooted the rig after all of this was done. And you can see that that was done a minute ago at uh, 3.18 p.m. on May the 4th. And just looking down here, you can see May the 4th, 3.22 p.m. We are at 61.4 mega hash and our core is at minus 475, memory at 2375, and our power limit at 120 watts. And at the wall, if you measure this, we've done videos on it, that's gonna come out to about 135 watts at the wall for this card riser and everything at the wall. And I will say I have done testing on this card in the past, and you've seen this card running over 62, right at about 63 mega hash. And you can push this, and I've had it running for weeks on end, but slightly crashy. So I just backed things down over the past few weeks here to what you see right here. And that's what we're going to run with for this test for the next week. So before we go dark and go into the, the cloud here for the next week, let's take a quick snapshot of where crypto prices are right now on May the 4th. So Ethereum had a really nice run the past couple days. We are at $3,371.98. Wish us luck. 
we're going into the dark now. We will see you back here in one week. All right, guys, here we are. We are back at the desktop, and it has been one week. So you can see down here it is 5-11-2021 at about 4.49 p.m., and it's been seven days and one hour <laughs> since we started this test. And I will talk to you about some of the stuff that went on during the week. We had some interesting findings and a couple of big events happened while we were running this test. And I'll talk about that in a minute. We rebooted the rig and then here, two days ago, 11 hours, we had an issue with Autofan where uh, I, it was a driver error, something like that, and the rig rebooted. But since then, it's been pretty solid. You can see we're at 99.95%, uh, really high accepted share, over 10,000 accepted shares with five rejects. And this is where we finished out. So to close out the week, we were at $73.91 US, which is 0 0.0181 Ethereum that has been unpaid. And you can see right there, uh, unfortunately, Hivon has the high payout, so we haven't hit it yet. I'll have to move some other rigs over to help bump this along and get that paid out sooner. So that's 18% to pay out. So $73.91. All right, so here we are a few hours later. I wanted to talk about a few things real quick. I had to step aside because I had roofers working on the house and there was just nothing but pounding in the background and I couldn't get anything recorded. So we're looking at this live uh, a few hours later now but a few things happened this week that were sort of interesting. So the first thing I wanted to point out was that earlier in the week, there were some updates to Hive OS to let you set the absolute core clock. And I was not able to do that because I had already started the test. I'll probably fool around with that here on this card in just a minute. But I did test with some of my other 3070s. And this is one of the models that actually benefits from setting the absolute core clock. So I'll play around with that. But possibly I could get this at the card down to... 105, 110 watts here in Hive OS. And then the second thing, I want to jump over to Hive on Pool real quick. And if you look right here at the expected earnings per week, starting yesterday morning, I believe it was, the gas fees just shot through the roof. It was really crazy. I think it was a bit of the Uniswap activity that was going on that was powering a bit of this, but uh, taking a look at it, it was a little bit of everything, honestly. And look at this, if I were to start the test now, potentially I could be seeing $121.17 US per week over the $73 or $74 we actually got this past week. Now this could change, could change, and it does change day to day, but man, earnings right now are so good, folks. I hope you all are on this and really taking advantage of it. Look at this, $17.31 US per day. That's 0.028 or 29th per week on just this one 3070. So Ethereum's at $4,176. If that's not an all-time high, we're right at the all-time high, which is really exciting. It's so much fun to be working on this stuff right now. And if I come over to what to mine at the moment, I am, let's see here, 61.4 mega hash, 130 watts at the wall if we add in the riser. And I hit calculate. And oh my gosh, look at that. So currently $16.66 after electric. And what does that leave us? About, just about 30 cents in electric per day on this card right here. Yeah, the, <laughs> the earnings are just insane right now. All right, so really exciting time, guys. I hope you all are working on this cashing in and taking advantage of these profits right now that are just absolutely insane. If you have any other coins you want me to run through on a similar test, any of these other major ones, Conflux, Firo, Eternity. Look at what? Bitcoin Z? Look at this. Bitcoin Z is showing itself back up here. <laughs> Swap. Any of these others uh, that you want me to try, leave that in the comments below. Ravencoin, any of those, and I'd be happy to give it a shot. Okay, thanks so much for watching, Raptors. See you in the next video. Take care. Back from the dead.
Hell yeah. 